Next there, gets the kill, it goes the way of the bad, not ideal. And Solo now looks to duke it out with Funic. Doesn't have the mana for anything, though. He nearly finishes off the Nature's Prophet. The Triads retreating out with him as the regular creeps almost enough to kill him. And meanwhile, mid lane, on to Dendi goes mag, but actually Resolution's gonna back off. Rockets coming through, only oh, level one. But gets the kill anyway with the Prophet ult. We'll stack it. Maybe one more time. Oh, Storm jumping in bottom lane onto Funny, but the rotation's coming from Navi. The two heroes that were just looking to form Ancients will be here just in time to maybe turn the sleep on the Storm. They'll bring in the Lion as well. He's extremely low HP, but he's still coming to help this fight. And they'll end up killing off the Abaddon. Now chasing Silent. Brain Sap ready. Courier rides with a bottle. Yeah, that Lion of FFNG TP'd in with just enough mana for an Impale. That's how badly they wanted that kill. But now he's going to be given the, the bottle of Dendi. Uh, for a little bit of regen. Mine. And so back off, so getting close to level 6, Resolution finally getting a little momentum in this mid lane as Dandy starts to farm, and angling his march nicely to maximize the damage on the Ancients here. Oh, get his VOTs, he's gonna work on the Blink Dagger even. By the time this is done, he's gonna have like a thousand gold, or close to it, with yeah, the VOTs. He's, yeah, he's really fat. It's a... Uh... As fat as you can get, potentially, on Zinker. This is a concern, <laughs> to put it mildly. Yeah, it really is. It's not that easy, just go and kill a Zinker. Nice defensive sleep bottom lane, right as Silent jumped out of bank score. He doesn't have enough mana for another Remnant. Well, he will, but he, he would have lost all his mana, not been able to zip out. He gets shielded by Solo, but Solo doesn't have his ult yet. Actually, he hit level 6, but he skilled Curse of Avernus. He panicked, I guess, and skilled around ability. Probably would have gone down anyway, but still, just a costly death there and miss skill. And Silent nearly finished off by Dendi, who's just going to look to run him down. He'll have to juke into the trees. Doesn't have anywhere near enough mana to TP out. One more march. We'll finish him, Radiant's and they'll look for vision here with the sprout. The march, or the rocket rather, will connect with that, that ground sprout for vision. And yet another death for Empire. This is this game is falling apart for them in a hurry. And now they bring Mag mid, hoping for a pick off, but do they find anyone? Oh, maybe they do get the Tinker. He mutes in on the lane. This hookshot absolutely must hit. They need the kill. Oh, they're waiting for it. Maybe this is now, but they make their comeback. Well, this could be it. They'll zip in immediately on FNG. Global Sound still cooling down for 15 seconds, but the first kill finally going the way of Empire. They'll get first blood of this engagement. Dendi now chasing forward, looking for Solo. He still doesn't have a point in his ultimate. He's level 7. What? No bar of time. Very unusual. As Mag gets hexed in the river, then fingered as well. Dendi blinking forward. Almost got that kill, but didn't quite have it in time. Resolution trying to draw Navi back. We'll force out the glyph, while well, meanwhile the storm spirit ends up going down in the bottom lane. Havos turning to fight with a double damage rune, and he will live through this. They get four kills! And still the Roche stands, but only for now. What is this Abaddon build? I don't know, man. He missed- I, th I thought he missed skilled at level 6. I'm like, okay, well he'll get it next level, but... He opted to just max the Aphotic Shield instead. It's a plane. Rip on the resolution, and, and now Dendi follows it up. And that's the death of the lake, and this is just all going wrong for Empire. This is, uh, I, don't th I don't know if I've ever felt more helpless for a team than I do right now for Empire. That's yeah, looking grim. And for sure. like, we're looking at Dendi with a ghost after up. He could have Ethereal Blade by the 20, 20, 22 minute mark. Depending on how many kills he gets. Not to mention an Aegis if he needs it. And look at the Roche. Um, it's very hard for them to actually use the combo. They're gonna no, jump though. They're ready to hook. Oh, the hookshot oh. misses for Mag. What a mess. Now Resolution's forced off the global. Resolution will manage to live with that last bottle charge. He gets shielded up by the Abaddon and keeps him in life, but Silent just explodes. Way too much burst damage. The Hero Blade's already picked up on Dendi and it's, it's blast in time for him. Blinking to the right side. He'll shotgun Solo, bringing him down to about half HP. They've lost three. Make it four. There was a buyback for this as Storm looks to rejoin the fight. Then he zips back out. He thinks better of it. Lycan. Resolution nearly going down. And he's got ult ready. I guess he can pop this to escape. But yeah, they pop back on silent and, and got Radiant's nothing with that. Well, like, well, the Bane, but that's basically nothing at this point. And he might even die. Stormbolt back. X. Yeah, Stormbolt back, and he's oh, gonna okay. go down again. Impale! He's dead. Yep. Oh, that's that's not good. Hookshot did miss to start that fight. That didn't help. Help matters. But I don't know if it would have been a different, made a difference anyway. Look at Lycan's positioning. He just 
sent Radiance the courier all the way to him, send out a TP, realizing it's on cooldown. Radiance top tower has fallen. Now he needs to sit there another 10 attack. seconds. <laughs> it's almost better just to go die and then respawn at this point. Almost. <laughs> He'd probably be up right now. Sonic is dropping low, but he's got the Aegis, so he doesn't mind this. Another zap on solo, then he rearms the shotgun and he puts a few more shells in and prepares to go again. Honestly, it's times like this where I almost just want to stop trying to do anything except follow Dendi around on player-directed camera, because he's going to be the Radiant's one controlling the fights from here on attack. out. There's a sleep and always want to fly. Arrow catches him, Funnick arrives, Puppetal splashing through, and before the Dendi rockets even get there, they've already gotten a kill. And he's ready to jump in a little bit further. So use March on the mid lane, but Navi are in full Radiant control of this game, number three. And it looks like they, they may well have a date with NBMI in the grand finals. The last outer tower falls, leading by 20k gold. Tinker leveling up his ethereal blade rapidly. It's a level three now. And he's rejoining them. They're just going to keep on pushing. They're going to force this high ground. Solo, slept up, hexed up, forced back. They will lose FNG immediately, but Funnick yeah. continues to stand his ground and try and turn this. Oh, Unfortunately, Bane gets Mana Bird. He can't use the grip. That might be the turn that they needed. Silent too low on Mana. Now he zips down and he gets shotgun instantly by Dendi. Where's that laser follow-up? It's not in time, but Dendi will just blink out. He's going to patiently wait for a better opening. Look shot on Pavost. He just leaps out of this. Dendi could turn. Just that shotgun combination. There you go. Right all into the silencer before the heal could even be used from solo. And he can do it again. Empire can't keep on chasing. They're going to lose Silent and Mag if they overextend here. Dendi jumping in. The rocket will follow this one up. Doesn't have mana for the date, but he's just a bit short of it. And he'll just try to do it the good old fashion with auto attacks. And Vanksquare returns with this fiend script. It's cancelled by, a, by a Empire. And in the end, they'll zap solo down regardless. He'll fall once more. Navi just running away with this game three. Well, I guess you're not gonna miss the birthday party, Misery. Um, nope, not at this rate. <laughs> yeah, we we're talking about how he might have to go before the series ends, but it doesn't seem like it's the case. Although so Havos will potentially get caught out mid. Sipping forward to silent. There's need two more auto attacks at least for that one. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, well, Dendi goes it deep, kills off the Lycan under the shadow of the silencer, and now he's out of mana. He may he may be in a bit of trouble here. This will be a massive kill if they get it. No, Funnix there. The kill off the silencer. Backup has arrived. And now they look for solo. He doesn't have his ultimate for 10 seconds. That's more than enough time for another rearm. Another shotgun if need be. The takers there again. They put godlike streak for Dendi. 11 0 6. Hooking forward is Mag, but. Uh, he'll go down to another auto attack. 707, and yeah, there's your GG. Well, a rough way for Empire to go out, but they did put up a good fight in the first two games. This one was just a good old fashioned beatdown from start to finish. Yeah, there's not much to discuss after a game like that, apart from, like, maybe we should have chosen a different strategy. Brutal. And, uh, I mean, sure, it didn't help the way some other things in the game went, like the fact, like the de-warding issues bottom lane and the silencer not moving sooner, but you still look at it, it's the Tinker versus a Lycan mid. He's going to require help.